Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, Luke here with Motion Page. In today's video, this is um, a user requested tutorial which was requested in our community and basically it is an animated timeline. Here's what it looks like. So as you can see, this is the, um, the example that was posted in the requests and as I scroll down, you'll see that first of all, the cards animate in like this. Uh, but you'll also see the line in the center. Uh, it kind of fills up with a pink color as you scroll down, which is quite nice. Now, I'm not sure how they've created this one exactly. I don't think this is GSAP, but we will be using motion page for this. So it might look a little bit different, but uh, essentially we'll be creating something very similar. Now, I do just want to point out that I will be using an oxygen template to create this. This is just going to make it faster for me. The main purpose of this video is the animation itself and not design, but I will show you how the design is set up in a basic way, but I'm not going to go into too much uh, details with that. All right, so as you can see, I've just created a new uh, page here called Timeline and I'm going to edit with oxygen. So here's my page and like I said, I'm just going to use um, a template here, design set, which is I believe automatic and there should be a page in here which has um, kind of like a um, timeline already. So it's this one. So if you're using oxygen, you can simply just um, import this one. So let me show you how this is made first of all, in case you're using a different builder. What we have is basically we have three columns here. It contains three divs inside and then each div. So the left div is, I think it's 45%. Yeah, so it's 45% width. The middle one here has a width of 10%. And then the right one also is 45%. Okay, so it's 45%, 10%, 45%. And then within each div, we have just uh, some content here. This is a card. This card has a class applied to it already. So make sure you apply a class to this card because we can use this class to animate. The center div here. So let's have a look. This also has a class called middle column. And as you can see, it's using flex uh, column and then everything is centered and then to the top. So inside this div, we have an icon, as you can see, that goes to the top because the parent is set to the top on vertical alignment. And then under that, we have a div now this div, once again, I'll show you the ID first. It has a width of two pixels. Uh, I'm actually gonna change this today to five pixels. And then on the class, it also has a height of 100%, just so it spans the whole height. And it's going under the icon. The icon is sitting on top. So let's just make sure in here, let's have a look at custom CSS. Yes, yeah, so the icon is on top because the Z index is 100. So keep that in mind as well if you want to create a similar layout. But like I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I hope this gives you enough understanding on how to create this kind of setup. So first things first, I'm just going to make a couple changes to this. I First of all, I want this line to be a little bit wider. So I'm just going to target this. And then on the ID, I'm going to change everything to five, just so it's a, a little bit easier to see here. And then what I want to do is inside this, I'm going to use this as a container. And then inside this line, I want another div, another div. And we're going to use this div to be the color that changes as we scroll down. So this is going to be like the, uh, the progress color. So let me just rename this to progress bar. That's going to sit inside. So this is going to be our timeline progress container. Or let's just do progress bar container. I think that makes more sense. So with this progress bar, what I want to do first, I want to give it um, a unique class so we can target this in motion page. This is going to be our do timeline, timeline progress bar. I'm going to set the height to 0%. So 0% height and then on the ID, what I want to do is change everything to five just so that it sits inside this one here. And finally, what I'm going to do is I just need to duplicate this and replace these lines here with our new one. So I'm just going to copy this progress bar container. So it looks like this is sitting below the icon. So what I'm going to do is delete that one and then paste it in there. We'll do the same here. We'll delete this, paste it in there, and then delete that one, paste it in there. All right, cool. So 
Now, I want to play around with the colors. So what I want to happen is as I scroll down, I want our primary color to come into play. Currently, everything is already the primary color. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to change uh, the color of the icons. So I can do that on the ID luckily. So I'm just going to go here, background color. And I'm just going to make this a uh, the light gray here. We're going to use this. And then on this bar as well. So it looks like the class actually has the uh, the gray color. So I'm just going to delete the color from the ID. I must say not sure why this is here, but let's just go down the IDs and uh, delete these colors like this. Delete that one and delete this one. So now we're just left with the gray color, which is applied to the class here. And then finally, what we want to do is our progress bar. Now you can't see it because it's behind the icon here, but on the uh, class, once again, I'm going to change the background color to the uh, primary blue color. Now I'm just going to save this and then I'm actually going to head over to motion page and see what we've got. All right. So I'm just going to create a new timeline here and I'm just going to call this um, animated timeline. I'm going to target our new page here, which is timeline. And before I continue, uh, let me just set up um, a section above and below 50 viewport heights. This is just so we can scroll a little bit beyond. And then also I'm just going to duplicate this and put it right to the top. Okay. All right. Refresh this. Okay, cool. So what we want to do is on our trigger, set this to be scroll trigger. We want to lock to scroll bar. I'm going to put the delay to something very small like that. There's no pinned element uh, in this example. And then what we want to do is, so we're going to target the class, which is actually starting here under the icon. So what we want to happen is when the top of that element reaches around the halfway point of the screen. So start viewport wants to be at 50%. So what we're saying is when the top of our element, which we want to animate and basically change the height coming down, we want that to happen as it reaches about the halfway point. Now the end viewport, this one's a little bit tricky, uh, but basically we can play around this value, but I'm just going to leave it at 15% for now, just to see what it looks like. And I'm also going to make sure that this is the top as well. So the top of the same element, when it reaches the red line, we want it to, uh, to animate down. So let's target our class now in oxygen. Let's just go back progress bar. So we want to target this div here, this uh, class, sorry. So let's do that press enter and you can see it's highlighting there in the builder. Now it is behind the icon, which is okay. From, we can leave that the same because it's already 0% to, and then we want to change the, uh, the height to be a hundred percent. So as you can see, it's quite hard because it's a blue color. If I just go to oxygen and change this to um, a bright color, like magenta or something like that, just so it's visible in motion page. We'll refresh that. So you can see now we have this line, but the problem is each iteration of this class is animating at the same time. So to prevent that, just make sure you check trigger each iteration individually. And now that way they will be independent of one another like this. Now you can see it's not quite in line with the green bar. Now one way around that would simply to be to change this to none just so we have no easing effects. So it's a little bit more linear as you can see. Now the only issue is some of these lines might be higher than, than the other lines, which means end of viewport, it's going to be different for each height. So this is just something you're going to have to keep in mind. You'll have to find um, a value that works for you here. So if I change this to 20%, for example, make it a little bit smaller. Now you can see it's below the line it's a little bit more in line with the green line, which works better for me. But yeah, basically we already have something that looks similar to the example. Next, what I want to do is I want to use the same timeline actually, but this time I want to just change the color of the icons. Uh, I'm just going to change this back to the blue color here. Automatic. There we go. All right. So back in motion page, just refresh this back to our primary blue. What I'm going to do is just add a new animation node. And in this node, I'm going to target our icons. So let's grab the uh, class from the icon here, which is this. This class is attached to all the icons, by the way. So once again, these settings, we can leave the same, which means we can just simply add a new animation node. And then now all I'm going to do is change the background color. All 
all right so now as you can see once we reach that point here it's quite subtle but I think that looks quite nice so the icons are changing into the blue color and now we also have the animation line with the blue color as well so that looks pretty good and then finally what I'm gonna do is um, first of all I'll show you an example of using one class so with this one I'm gonna target our cards here which has automatic content 31 wrapper and once again each class is applied to each card here and then I'm just gonna do a translate from minus uh, let's say 350 pixels also opacity of zero and then what I want to do is bring it to an opacity of one so you can see it and then bring this to zero pixels so you can see as I scroll down we have this nice animation effect of the cards now that might be a little bit too much so what you can do is just play around with this value uh, for example 150 this will just be a, a very subtle effect and it's more in line with the green line as you can see there yeah that looks pretty good so save that and if I have a look at this on the front end I'm gonna scroll down here card comes in the blue lines going down the icons are changing color as well which looks pretty good um, the second example I wanted to show you is if you wanted to keep it more in line with the example that I showed at the start of the video then you could add unique classes to the ones on the left and then a unique class to the ones on the right so let's just do a quick example of that so if I go back to uh, oxygen here now I'm gonna add a class to this called timeline left card add it to there add it to this one as well so everyone on the left and then on the right, we can use a new class, timeline right card. Add it to that one as well. Okay, so save this, and then all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna edit. So right click on this edit, and then let's just change this one to, let's focus on the left card first. So that's gonna target all of the ones on the left now instead of using the y-axis what we can do is use the x-axis so we'll do minus 50 percent and then two we want to change this to zero so as you scroll down they're going to come in from the left and then obviously all i'm going to do for this is duplicate we'll edit this once again change this to right and then we'll just change this value to a positive 50 and they animate in like so. So save this and have a look at this one on the front end. And this is how it looks. Pretty sweet, nice. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, original example once more. So here's the original example once again. Animating in like that. And that line is very, very uh, stable actually in the middle. And then our example looks something like this. It's a little bit difficult to see maybe, but the, the line is right here from the blue and the gray. We'll scroll down like that. So it's very smooth, it's very nice. Yeah, it's very similar to the original example, uh, but yeah. So there you have it guys. I hope you like this tutorial. Once again, it's quite simple. Uh, but very effective I think in this case we're just taking a template which already exists in oxygen and basically improving on it uh, adding some nice features subtle animations to it as you scroll down I will be back again next week with another video so please stay tuned and please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video thank you